Channel 125's coverage of Atlanta Pride 2014 is brought to you by Mix, Atlanta's upscale nightclub, and by Brushstrokes, the boutique for open-minded adults, and by Joel Foyer, associate broker at Remax Paramount Properties. What's on our minds but the Florida Keys? So we stroll by this booth here and run into Stephen, who apparently represents the Florida Keys uh, in their gay markets. Is that correct, Stephen? Right. I'm a sales manager for the gay and lesbian market, domestic and internationally representing the Keys. Very cool. So you represent all of the Keys as well as Key West? All of the Keys and Gay Key West, which is the main thing. Right. And, um, you know, Seems like most everybody I know has been to Key West at some time. They have some horror story to tell about Duval Street or something. There's all kinds of, uh, of stories that, that kind of wrap around uh, Key West. But um, they've specifically recognized, obviously, um, a strong need to, to do outreach for the gay community. How did you step into that job? Um, I started promoting Key West to the gay market 22 years ago. Then I was executive director of the Business Guild and transitioned over to the Florida Keys Tourism Office about 17 years ago. So um, this is my 20th Pride in Atlanta. I've enjoyed it. It's a great market for us. And everybody loves Key West, so it's a really good product. Yeah, which brings to mind the next question. You know, you're living in a tropical paradise, beautiful weather, um, just a great environment, and very, you know, gay-friendly, obviously. Does it kill you every time you have to travel to, you know, Columbus, Ohio, or somewhere else, and leave Key West? <laughs> That's kind of fun when, when you ask that, because I did a trade show in Columbus, and I left a bottle of Coca-Cola in my rental car. I had no idea it would freeze solid overnight. Um, you know, we have never had frost in Key West, ever. Has, has it been good for Key West? It, has Key West been here every year for the 20 years that you've been coming? We have been here every year, and I think what, what we recognized about doing Pride events especially is that gays and lesbians are extremely loyal to people who respect their community and who celebrate with them and who give back to their community. Um, we have a great group of people who come to Key West to celebrate birthday parties, commitment ceremonies, honeymoons, and it's just been fun to be here, have people come up to me that have come to Key West in the last year or two because they met us here, and they tell us about the great vacations they've had. They've told their friends, and today we talked to a fellow who's bringing 34 people down for his 40th birthday to Key West. That's an awesome place. I'm sure we all have memories that uh, we could tell people about, things that have happened at Key West, great experiences we had there. Uh, I noticed that on your uh, tablecloths here, you have the slogan, uh, close to perfect, but far from normal. Absolutely, absolutely. We are this quirky community, if you've never been there, we would, we would tell you we are very close to perfect, but we are absolutely not normal at all. Hence the flag that's on this poster behind you. We wanted to have the largest rainbow flag in the world, and we're a little two-by-four island. So this flag was created 10 years ago. It was 8,000 feet long, 16 feet wide. It weighed over three tons, and it has been celebrated all over the world. And you know, it's a lot of fun because people see this image and they want to come up, they want to feel it, they want to be part of it, they want to touch it. And that's part of Key West. People want to experience it and touch it. So how do you put an 8,000 foot long flag on a little tiny island? Doesn't that like wrap around the island? Just about. It took 2,500 people to carry it from the Gulf of Mexico to the Atlantic Ocean. And uh, we just loved it. We shut the entire island down for four hours. That's pretty impressive. But once you're there, why would you want to leave? <laughs> I like telling people about my hometown and, and the wonderful things there. So, yeah, I hate leaving there, but I love coming home, too. And just one last little thing. We have an openly gay, very handsome police chief. We have gay city commissioners, gay and lesbian county commissioners. Gay has just been assimilated into the life of Key West. And some years ago, we adopted the mantra, one human family. It is the official philosophy of our city and our county. And um, once you're there, you will experience the one human family love of Key West. Now, there was just an interesting project I saw uh, on the news last week, I think it was. Um, I believe it was in 
Austin, Texas, that they're doing a new thing to express their pride there. And I think this would be awesome if they could do it somewhere in Key West. But they have taken several of the crosswalks in the kind of gay district of uh, downtown Austin, Texas, and they're making the crosswalks the six colors of the rainbow. It'll, so instead of being just a, a set of white stripes across the road, it'll be blocks of red, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple crossing the street. I think that's terrific. I, I know a couple other cities have done that, um, but a lot of people don't realize, gays and lesbians, the original rainbow flag was eight colors. We grew up with six colors. Magenta and turquoise are the two colors that we were deprived as, as young adults. Those two colors stood for sex and magic. So at Key West, we put sex and magic back in. I would love to see our crosswalks in rainbows, and I'd love to see it happen in more cities. We would love to see it there, too. We'd love to see it in your crosswalks. Let's so see it in Atlanta, is, too. Nobody, no, nobody probably notices that, but this rainbow flag actually has all eight colors. Right. So there's the turquoise, and there's the magenta. Right. And it was made by Gilbert Baker, who gave us the original flag 36 years ago um, at the request of Harvey Milk. So Gilbert Baker is kind of the Betsy Ross of the rainbow flag. He absolutely is, and he sewed this one with a couple of volunteers over three months. I hope he had a, like a thread sponsor or fabric sponsor, because that, that's a lot of material. Absolute vodka, $250,000 grant, and if you sew, you're looking at 18,500 yards of fabric. That's a lot of nylon. That is a lot of fabric. Well, Stephen, we appreciate you coming here, and we hope to see you in Key West soon, which means, of course, we'll have to take the show down to Key West. But we look forward to coming down there. Maybe you can give us a tour of the island, show us all the hotspots. I'd be glad to. I'll pop the top on my rag top, and we'll ride around with your camera. Excellent. Good Thank deal. you, Stephen. Have a great you. ride. And you too.